Hello, it's the Beer Idiots here at Wonderlust 2020 and it's amazing to be here in Brussels and to have one of the practically only sessions in the era of COVID-19 and here we are with Sebastian from the Brussels Beer Project <laughs> and Sebastian, how, how, how have you guys done? What were some of the strategies that have helped you through? This, this is, yeah. Well, the first strategy was to have a great team, to have a very resilient team that's very motivated, that want to go through this delicate uh, period. So during the lockdown, we did a uh, few activities, but mostly what we did is uh, internet e-shop, uh, which worked very well. We have a strong community that really helped us out a lot. And then we worked with a few other breweries to do a uh, uh, collective spirit. So the cakes that we could not sell to uh, to the cafe and restaurants, we uh, did a distillation and we made a very nice spirit, kind of a mix between a peke and a gin. Worked very well. And then this summer has been actually quite good. Uh, so March to May was difficult time uh, for every everybody, for every single brewery. But then uh, June, July, August, it was... Uh, a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, people starting to enjoy life a little bit more, and we were there to, uh, you know, uh, get their back and uh, provide them with uh, with good beer. So now with this wanderlust, uh, this idea was uh, was to not cancel the uh, the anniversary festival. Too many events have been cancelled. Too many events and too many beer festivals uh, in Belgium, in Brussels, everywhere have been cancelled. So we wanted to do something. Uh, thank, I'm saying that is maybe a bit smaller, uh, but still that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, bring the community together with nice music, with great beers from our friends. We have here a friend from Atrium, for instance, a new great brewery from Belgium. Uh, so we, we decided to still do it despite uh, despite COVID. And how are your building plans going? Yeah, it's going very well. We have uh, our brewery actually uh, can almost see uh, where we will be because now we, we have a very good view of uh, Brussels. Uh, so we will start literally building in two months. Uh, so uh, very excited about that. We chose, uh, we got all the permits. Uh, we chose uh, all the suppliers and uh, the main contractors. So we actually starting physically building this in uh, in November. It took some time, but you know it's uh, it's not easy. It's not as easy as we thought it would be. Uh, and uh, but we're getting there. And this time next year we could have this interview in front of the brewery. I'm so, looking forward to that for sure. And it's great to see you guys have adapted. <laughs> changed you're still getting people ordering i like i guess your main market now is europe and you hope uh, that it will pick up soon yeah it's uh, it's europe it's actually uh, brussels and belgium and we want to first you know be a brewery for the local people uh so our main focus is brussels belgium and then it's france netherlands uh, but, you know, we are not shooting, uh, trying to do 50%, 80% export. Uh, we are very, very happy to sell the majority of our beers, you know, around the bars behind me uh, and, and the bars and restaurants, hotels and, and shops uh, behind me. So that's our first focus. Uh, it's always fun to have your beer go to Japan, go to America and stuff. But the, the real focus is is behind me. And what will you do if your inventory increases or are you just brewing as you need right now for in terms yeah, of Yeah, we uh, we go back to a very decent level of uh, of brewing. Uh, so the whole team is back of course and uh, on track. Uh, we managed to not let off any single person. Actually quite the contrary. Just a few weeks ago we recruited uh, three people in the in the brewery so feeling very uh, happy about that. And uh, and yeah, we go full speed now. Uh, hopefully, um, there will be no further lockdown, and uh, we can keep uh, keep brewing and keep uh, you know bringing some uh, some new beers. Excellent, thank you, Sebastian, and thank you again for Wanderlust. Thank you for coming, and as you soon. Thank you.